The final weekend of TIFF is just kicking off, but there's still plenty of stars to be seen. Canadian Jacob Tremblay wowing the red carpet at the world premiere of Burn Your Maps. The young star talked to Terry Hart about what it was like to shoot in Alberta. Just getting to stay home and like visit family. Because I have lots and lots and lots of family in Calgary. What's the next movie you have coming out? I have a movie called Shredding that's coming out with Naomi Watts. And then I have Wonder that's coming out and I just wrapped that two dropped on that two days ago. Meanwhile, Woody Harrelson was in town for the world premiere of LBJ. Tanya Kim chatted to fame director Rob Reiner about why Harrelson was chosen to play the 36th U.S. president, Lyndon B. Johnson. He brings humanity. This character is very complex. He's insecure. He's got feelings of abandonment. And Woody brings all these aspects to the character. This is everything I have. One of the major films to premiere at TIFF, Snowden. Terry Hart sat down with the high-profile cast to talk about what it was like working on a film that talks about the controversial subject of your privacy. Privacy is an important part of it, but I know for me, the government being honest and accountable to the people is, is kind of the most important thing. What sort of secrecy even goes into meeting Edward Snowden? People have been asking me, so did you have to like wear a blindfold when you were driving there or something? I didn't know. It, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that crazy. We met in an office. You actually wrote Mr. Stone a letter? I did. You know, you sort of have the Orwellian theories of, oh, they're watching us. But then to have it validated and confirmed, I wanted to reach out just to say thank you because it takes a lot of courage. <gasps> There's something out there. From controversial to downright scary, Blair Witch, the sequel to the 1999 horror flick, made its world premiere at TIFF, and the creators say it was tough shooting in British Columbia. It was interesting because the the actual uh, wildlife out there is, you know, quite a bit different for most of the area than it is in Maryland. Eventually, we found uh, a section of uh, woodland that. Um, really closely resembled uh, Maryland. The, the hardest thing, honestly, though, was the fact that we were doing it during the summer, so the, the nights are really short. You know, it felt like we, we shot half of this movie on six-hour days or something, you know, because the nights were so short. Regular Indian citizens sent their own footage for the premiere of India in a Day. The creator told us about how he managed to get all the video. Production on this and pre-production was doing press in India. And it's just getting the word out. Social media, I was doing, you know, newspaper and magazines and TV and radio and everything I could just to get the word out. The last day of screening India in a Day is today, and it will be released on YouTube next month. As TIFF comes to a close, over to Terry Hart with a look at some rising stars. Thanks, Adam. As we wrap up our Sunday series here in Entertainment City's RBC Lounge, we're taking a look at four stars who've had the festival of their lives. Jared Abramson, Grace Glowicki, Sophie Nalise, and Elaine McKay. The up-and-coming actors who were chosen as this year's TIFF Rising Stars, putting them in the spotlight as the next generation of Canadian talent. Why did you want to be part of the Rising Star program? What does this allow? Uh, it's a great opportunity to meet new people from this industry, which are passionate. The variety that this like offers, that this world offers, I mean, this is not just acting. You can meet directors, you can meet like producers. Just to, like get to see all the parts, not just like acting and actors. I think that's what I... I kind of want to learn a bit more about it. The four actors are joining prestigious alumni, including Tatiana Maslany and Sarah Gadden. Safe to say the global film industry takes note of TIFF's rising stars, as they should. We can expect great things from those four. And that's a wrap for me at Entertainment City's RBC Sunday Lounge. Back to you, Adam. And don't forget, Entertainment City is your source for everything TIFF going into the last weekend. Follow us on Twitter at NCity to see all the moments as they happen. Entertainment City is brought to you by RBC. Let's make someday happen.